Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back to Pharma Education 1 of 1. Today we will be studying CDM topic and under CDM the subtopic is conduct phase which is the second phase in clinical data management process. Now in the previous video we learned up till startup phase. Startup means what? Uh, if you want to look at the video you can go back to the video lecture series playlist and uh, you can revise it just for a quick revision startup phases when you're starting up this whole concept of clinical data management how you're going to uh, design and develop the crfs that is case report forms the databases edit checks and everything so once the design and development of crf edit checks and database is completed after uat so the edit checklist is tested how with the help of user acceptance test and database is tested how uh, with the help of screen testing so it is the time for database to go live and that this part happens in what phase two that is known as the conduct phase so here's a quick uh, flowchart based revision that you know you have your protocol made based on that now you will start with your crf design and annotations now the edit checklist development process will take place and you'll design the database as well that is checked by uad edit checks um, edit checks testing user acceptance test and database design is tested by screen testing and then the database go live so it moves on to the next phase that is study conduct phase so now that live database may hum pehle kya karte hai? mainly jo main bolungi in a summary form we do data collection we do data entry okay we do medical coding of that particular sae review and reconciliation sae matlab ki severe adverse events ka review aur unko reconcile karna means ki dekhna data ko review karna and to assess the data then agar aapne data entry kari hai to aapke paas discrepancy management system bhi hota hai data entry is done on two things paper and ecrf paper kiya hai to it will be updated in the database by clinical uh, clinical data assistant and if it is ecrf ecrf then it will also be updated by site and then if there is any discrepancies or anything that database will be cleaned so after the data is entered it is sent to discrepancy management depending on what type it is is it paper or ecrf okay so first step that comes in the date in conduct phase is data collection now data collection is done using crf that is form which is done by two mediums so first is paper crf and the second one is ecrf that is electronic crf in paper crf what we do is we collect the data uh, the data collection is captured by the clinical site where that experiment or study is happening in paper crf and later the data management team captures the data and convert it into edc so this process is an old process and it is more prone to data entry errors because obviously when you are writing something okay there are more chances for error firstly because a you are entering the data manually in a paper format and second when this data is to be uh, transcripted in electronic form might be due to illegibility or lack of knowledge it might get wrongly translated or transcripted okay so there are two errors it's not important to learn this type of error but this is this paper crf is more prone to data entry errors now the next type of uh, data collection crf type is through ecrf that is electronical okay uh, CRF. So originally all case report forms were made on paper but recently there is a changing trend to perform clinical studies using an electronic report form that is ECRF. Uh, it has a advantage hai, it is more faster and efficient, it has high security and obviously it is eco-friendly since papers are not used. So clinical sites will directly capture the data in EDS instead of writing it to paper and then transcripting it into the electronic form, electronic data capturing. They directly capture the data in EDC and confirm source data verification, which is the latest, most welcoming method for sponsors to avoid discrepancies. Okay, so that is how you have eliminated one step of error that could have happened while transcripting the data from manual to 
electronic. Then is CRF, CRF tracking. So entries made in CRF will also be monitored by clinical research associate for its completeness. Whether or not uh, the CRFs are complete, whether or not uh, they don't have something of any sort of discrepancies, it would be tracked by who? The clinical research, uh, research associate and then filled up CRFs are retrieved and handed to the CDM team. Okay. ये जितने भी filled up CRF है इन्हें लिया जाएगा और clinical data management team को hand over किया जाएगा जहां पर की वो track करेंगे CFR और उनका record maintain करेंगे so how will they track it they are tracked for what they are tracked कोई missing page तो नहीं है कोई illegible writings तो नहीं है या कोई missing entry तो नहीं है and they will check and revert back to the team so how the tracking and imaging is done is that CRF भले ही वो paper से मिला हो fax और courier के through receive kiya okay, by the data entry team and then it's logged into the relevant tracking system then kya hoga after logging the relevant uh, after logging it into the relevant tracking system what it would what would happen is that the header footer and patient ids are manually checked and compared with cm crf transmitter log now in the previous lecture we learned something known as So this is checked with the transmitter log that whether or not all the information provided is complete and then when it's checked the CRF are scanned and created from the original page. The scan the copies are now scanned. Then scanned CRF are tagged with the database page through the TOC. Fill secure we secure the original CRFs in fireproof cabinets like we don't want them to get harmed with anything so we kind of secure the paper based crf or whatever kind of crf that we got in the fireproof cabinets now when we do the data entry so there are uh, two types of data entry one is single data entry and let's look at what it means so So it is a most common data entry method and what happens in this is the transcription of information from a paper form uh, by manual entry into a file is uh, you know that transcription happens by the manual entry into a file using a computer system software package and the data entered can be performed by a single person. So that is why single data entry because it is performed by a single person or entered twice by different people. And that is your double entry. So in single entry, with visual checking, the data entry uh, person enters the data once only with visual checking. Afterwards, the same person visually compares entry with the original paper measures in double entry with the checking of mismatches in out of range values. Data are entered twice. So first of all, it is entered by two person and it is entered twice okay and it is concerned solely with ensuring we ensure what we ensure high degree of certainty like there are no chances of there are no chances of any kind of data mismatch or data error because we have full proof data enter kiya hai that what is recorded on the case report form is transcripted into the database as it is. Okay. So data entry is done as per what your prepared guidelines and as per data management plan. Okay. And it is applicable only in the case of 
पेपर सी आर एफ रिट्री फ्रॉम साइट सो ई सी आर एफ में तो ऑलरेडी डेटा डायरेक्टली डल जाता है बट इफ इट इज पेपर सी आर एफ देन दिस स्टेप इज एप्लीकेबल यूजली डबल डेटा एंट्री इज प्रेफर्ड बिकॉज डेटा इज एंटर्ड बाई टू ऑपरेटर सेपरेटली एंड एंट्री मेड बाय द सेकेंड पर्सन हेल्प्स इन वेरिफिकेशन एंड रिकनसाइलेशन बाई आइडेंटिफाइंग द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एरर्स एंड डिस्टर्बेंसीज कॉज बाय एलिजिबल डेटा तो दूसरा पर्सन क्या चेक कर सकता है ही कैन वेरीफाई वेदर और नॉट देर आर एनी ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एर डिस्टर्बेंसीज और इलिजिबल डेटा बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट आर डेटा टू बी एज कम्प्लीट एंड एज एक्यूरेस एक्यूरेट एज इट कुड बी सो डबल एंट्री इंश्योर्स बेटर कंसिस्टेंसी विथ पेपर सी आर एस आई होप इट वुड बी क्लियर टू यू एंड इट्स ऑल मेकिंग सेंस टू यू राइट नाउ